Hi, this is Susan Norman, and today I'm reading Jack's Worry, written by Sam Zapardi. Jack loved playing the trumpet. For weeks he had been looking forward to playing for his mom in his first ever concert. But on the morning of the big day, he found he had a worry. Time to get up, said Jack's mom. I've made you a special pre-concert breakfast. Jack crawled under the blankets, but his worry crawled under with him. Jack hid under the bed, but his worry followed him there too. When Jack finally got downstairs, his worry made it hard for him to eat his special breakfast. Everything okay? asked his mom. Jack wanted to tell her about his worry, but he couldn't find the words. After breakfast, Jack ran around the yard trying to lose his worry. But every time he stopped, it caught right back up with him. So Jack did the one thing that always made him happy. He took out his trumpet and started to play. But that only made things worse. Jack's worry was here to stay. It's almost time to go, Jack's mom said. But Jack couldn't go to the concert with such a big worry. He couldn't do anything with such a big worry. Suddenly, it was all a bit too much for Jack. I don't want to go. Jack's mom crouched in front of him. I thought you were looking forward to today, she said. For the first time that day, Jack stopped trying to get rid of his worry. Instead, he looked at it, really looked at it, and he found the words he needed. I don't want to play in the concert, he told his mom. I'm worried I'll make a mistake and you won't love me anymore. That's quite a worry, said Jack's mom. I'm glad you told me. And you know what? The concert isn't about playing perfectly. It's about having fun and sharing something you love with people who love you. And I will still love you even if you play every note wrong. Suddenly, Jack's worry wasn't so big anymore. By the time they got to the school, his worry was teeny tiny. When he saw his friends with their worries, he knew just what to do. And the mistakes, there were a few, but Jack was too busy enjoying himself to worry.